Hi everyone, it is August the 30th and I am so glad it's almost the first. <laughs> Needless to say that's when I get money and that is going to help me out tremendously. Uh, you know, everyone in life has bills and stuff and I'm no different. <clears throat> There's not a lot that I have to take care of, but there's a few things, you know, the car insurance and food and bedding for pets and all of that fun stuff. Um, today has actually been a decent day. I uh, woke up, I took my mom to pick up medicine, and we were going to do a little more running around, but the thing was um, I had to take Cassie to the doctor. Um, but it was nice because after my mom picked up the prescription, she goes, well, why don't we go to Danny's and get something to eat? And, um, it's amazing after the gastric bypass because I really just hardly eat. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I've got congestion in my throat. But, um, yeah, we went to Denny's and my mom got this senior breakfast. It's sort of like a Grand Slam, but not exactly like a Grand Slam. Um, but I basically, um, I ended up uh, having part of her breakfast. I mean, literally, I just don't eat that much anymore. Um, I had a couple of bites of egg, a sausage link, a piece of bacon, and then I couldn't even get through half a pancake after that. You know, I just that was it. And um, the biggest thing that I encounter is that I'm really not supposed to eat and drink. The problem is, is I'm always thirsty. I think that's because of my medication. And uh, so that really gets to be a detriment because I'm thirsty all the time. And I know I'm not diabetic and I know that nothing else is wrong with me. The doctors would have told me. Um, and I recently had blood work done. Um, anyway, uh, heard from my Aussie yesterday. Then that's always fun. I love to hear from him. Always brings a smile to my face. You know, and, uh, you know, I hope I hear from him again really soon. Um, then, uh, had to take Cassie to the doctor today. Uh, she has a urinary tract infection. Um, she used to get them all the time when she was little, and, um, I hope this isn't going to start being a trend again because it basically damaged one of her kidneys. I mean, it's all scar tissue and um, doctors aren't even sure if it works. So she may be working off of one kidney, um, which is kind of a scary thought because if anything happens to that kidney, then she'd be on a transplant list, uh, you know, and on dialysis. You know, and I'm hoping that never happens, <laughs> obviously. Um, we're also talking about putting her on birth control, um, partially to regulate her periods, you know, and, uh, you know, apparently the, the doctor, her doctor doesn't do that. They, they do all kinds of other tests and stuff like that, but they don't prescribe, um, the pill. So basically, uh, I made an appointment for her to go to Planned Parenthood because it, it's closer than the doctor that um, we were referred to. And Planned Parenthood is a good place. I remember going there for pregnancy tests. And uh, so I figured, you know, we can talk to them about it and see what they say. And I'm sure that they'll have some really good, you know, suggestions and, you know, find something really good for her. Um, uh, what else? Oh, tonight, my um, mom and I actually, after dinner, sat and talked. It was amazing. We, like, never talk, you know, and if we do, it's usually her complaining and me going, ah. Um, but we talked a little bit about politics, a little bit about religion, um, talked a little bit about church. She told me a lot of her memories that she remembers. And, you know, we kind of switched back and forth to kids now. She asked me what I would do if Cassie ended up pregnant, you know. And, I mean, Cassie's going to be 15 in November. It's really too early. But I, I told my mom what I told Cassie. 
basically that um, if uh, that whatever her decision was, I was going to support it. You know, that's that's how it goes. You know, if if you want to sit there and bitch and moan and complain, that's fine. But what does it accomplish? You know, um, so basically, you know, I'm just the kind of parent that goes, okay, let's just get this solved now that it's happened kind of thing, because I can express my wishes, but teenagers are still teenagers, and they will do what they want to do. Um, the best thing is to make sure they're safe, you know, and all that fun stuff. Anyway, I, that was kind of a ramble that I didn't mean to make. <laughs> Anyway, so we had a good conversation, and it was really nice. Wow, this is like my longest vlog ever. Uh, anyway, I guess that's it for now. Um, I'm going to go play on Facebook. <laughs> Bye.